The professional safe etch solution is used to open the pores of the concrete, providing the proper adhesion required for a long-lasting floor. The etching is required on all uncoated concrete floors, either new or old. The etching is not used to clean the concrete. Cleaning is done prior to the etching using a professional grade degreaser available at your local hardware store. Please make sure you wear the proper protection equipment and follow the manufacturer's instructions. Thoroughly sweep out all dust and dirt on the floor and apply a mist of water to the surface. The concrete should accept water evenly and consistently across the entire surface to be coated. If there are areas that are beating on the surface, it represents a possible contamination, oil, wax, or tire dressing. These areas need to be cleaned with a full concentrate of a professional grade degreaser. Scrub the area with a stiff bristle broom and inspect again. If water continues to bead on the surface, retreat the stain and scrub again until water no longer beads in that area. Once you have determined water is no longer beading, you are now ready to etch the concrete. Wearing rubber gloves and protective eyewear, slowly add one quart of professional etch solution to two to three gallons of water in a plastic watering can. Working in a 10 foot by 10 foot section of the floor, pour out the etching solution and scrub with a stiff bristle broom. The etching solution should fizz for about four to five minutes while being scrubbed. Please note, if the concrete does not fizz, it means there is a sealer on the floor and must be removed with a diamond grinder as previously discussed. When fizzing stops, hose off the solution and move on to the next sections. When all sections are completed, Rinse thoroughly three times and scrub with a stiff bristle broom while rinsing. A wet dry vacuum should be used to accumulate excess water. To speed up the process, use a floor squeegee and push all excess water to the center of the floor, then vacuum up. Do not leave pooled water on the floor. Let the floor dry for at least two hours with a fan operating to move air around the surface. Please note, see bottle for recommended disposal.